One of my friends was told by her sister-in-law that if you eat a lychee after sex, you won't get pregnant. Basically, she's now in the sixth month of her pregnancy and she managed to get pregnant in the very first month of her marriage. You know, we're all educated people and I shouldn't be having to say this again, but elaichi, mirchi, soy milk, green tea, all this is food. They're not contraceptives. And so if you're looking to avoid getting pregnant, you really need to start using actual contraception. Having said that, I did want to see if there was any kind of background to this story or where this myth could have arisen from. And apparently there is a study that says that if men were to eat very, very large quantities of elegy of cardamom, it can impact their sperm count. Now, there are two things to remember over here. One is if you eat very large quantities of cardamom and secondly, it will impact the sperm count. So it won't actually stop the sperm from being produced. It won't necessarily affect it. It can impact the sperm count. As a woman, however, you can have any amount of elaichi that you like, either before sex or after sex. It has absolutely no effect on your ability to get pregnant. So if you're looking to have fresh breath, by all means, go ahead and have two elaichis. If you're looking to not get pregnant, the elaichi won't make any difference to you. Please go out and get yourself some actual contraceptives.